So we're told to look for the assumption in the argument. It's important to remember that the evidence plus the assumption equals the conclusion. Um, the conclusion is that no Americans really practice the art of Japanese calligraphy. And in the evidence, we find out that it that that we have two things. One is that Japanese calligraphy has been growing in popularity in America, um, and, and that uh, no Americans have been officially sanctioned by a Japanese calligraphy master. Um, so, <clears throat> and that is given as the reason for why no Americans really practice the art of Japanese calligraphy. So the assumption is basically the connection between that statement and the evidence and the conclusion. Uh, so without even looking at the answer choices, we would figure it would be something like, um, in order to really practice calligraphy, you need to be sanctioned by a, a Japanese calligraphy master. Again, the assumption that we're looking for is going to be a very small link between what we have in the evidence and the conclusion. The difficulty of learning calligraphy is totally not it. Um, whether calligraphy was known in America is irrelevant. Uh, we don't doesn't matter whether calligraphy masters are living in America. You could go to Japan to be sanctioned. Uh, D. The sanctioning of, Jap of a Japanese calligraphy master is necessary to practice the art of Japanese calligraphy. That is the prediction we made that there was a connection between being sanctioned and really practicing it. So it's answer choice D.